I'm Fabian Reinvader, shaper of Taboo Boards. And this is Rocket Plus. This is our free ride, free race board. Um, that board can go from anything from free ride uh, experimented guy to uh, guys who are ex racers or guys who don't want to have the, um, all the hassle of tuning a real race board and want to have access to this kind of uh, speed without so much energy in tuning the board. So that's why we have this Rocket Plus that is plug-in uh, speed, speed access. Um, those boards have, uh, have, have thin rails to make them easy to jibe. We have all the gimmick that you will have on a, on a slalom board with a cutout to reduce a wet area to uh, be really on the fin with very uh, as less uh, wet surface as possible. Um, we also have uh, the super outside uh, foot swap position for really full blasting and the one a little bit more inside for when you want to be a little bit more relaxed uh, sailing or more at the border of um, free riding. Um, those boards also come in three construction. MTE, um, LTD, and um, Team Edition. The Team Edition is our carbon full sandwich uh, PVC over EPS, um, which means that the layer of the deck is in carbon on those one. Uh, then we have the LTD, that is our full sandwich um, PVC over EPS, but the layer up is full glass, top and bottom. Then we have the MTE, that is monolithic uh, multi-axial fiberglass over EPS core. Um, the MTE is the heaviest and the team is the lightest and stiffest. And the LTD is, is in between, but more close to, uh, I would say more close to the team. And for sure the MTE is the access price of those boards. Um, on the Rocket Plus this year, we changed the uh, taboo fin to uh, MFC fin now. Uh, those fins now are more powerful, so you will get uh, more power in light wind condition. And because of that, we also reduce a bit the sizes, so you still uh, you will get also a better top, top speed with those. Hey, I'm Scotty. I'm going to take you through the tuning options on the Rocket Plus. First off, we're going to take a look at the foot straps. You've got an inboard and outboard positioning. So obviously inboard, you're looking at the progressive rider, sort of your intermediate that's learning. And you've got the outboard option for the advanced riders looking to make the maximum out of this board. When we take a look at the mast track position, it's always good to start in the middle. From there, we can figure out whether the board is giving us too much lift riding on the tail. If so, we can move the mast track further forward. But likewise, if we find that the board is a little bit sticky and the nose touches down quite a lot, what we want to do is move the mast track back and we'll get more flight off of the fin. As you can see, the board has one fin option. It is a tuddle option, so you've got a front and back screw. Simple as that, the board comes with one fin and that will get set you going. <laughs> 